So I'm involved in this PCARN study that's studying children with severe asthma. And my interest in this really began in medical school. I was rotating through the emergency department. I was taking care of a teenager who had come in with difficulty breathing. I was one of the first people to see him. We had started treatment. He was getting albuterol, he'd gotten steroids. And, you know, I left to go and find the supervising doctor to, so that he could go see the patient. By the time I found the supervising doctor, a little bit of time had passed. He went in and found that this child was still having trouble breathing despite all this treatment that we had given him. And we all realized that, you know, this time that was lapsing was not good for the patient, but we also realized that the evidence for what the next treatment should be really wasn't there. And we, of course, like continued to observe and watch this child, but it really got my mind going about how we take care of asthma, this disease that's been around forever, this evidence that really hasn't changed in the past 20 years or so. And I wanted to make a difference in how confident physicians could be in delivering treatment to these children. And of course, make a difference in these children's lives so that when they come to the emergency department, we're much more reliable in delivering care that turns their symptoms around and gets them to the point where they can go home. And that's really the reason why I'm involved in BCARN is so that I can be involved in studies that really find those answers about how we should treat these children in a way that we can then implement that in real life treatment so that children really have better outcomes overall.